Hello friends, uh, welcome to one more video on 19C certification of NISM. Uh, for those of you who uh, are not aware about 19C certification, let me tell you that this certification is uh, related to alternative investment fund management. Uh, I will take you through 10 multiple choice questions related to this certification. The questions are related to chapter 9 which is about fee structure and fund performance. However, within this chapter, there are multiple subtopics uh, and I have decided to cover types of risk, investor level and fund level in this particular video by preparing 10 multiple choice questions. So if you go through this video, you will uh, get to know uh, the detailed understanding of various types of risks which are there uh, at the investor level as well as at the fund level uh, as far as alternative investment fund managers are concerned. And let me again reiterate that this is about 19C uh, you know, uh, module which is uh, related to alternative investment fund. So let us start with the question one, which of the following is the risk of adverse selection for investors? So those investors who invest in alternative investment fund, they suffer or they potentially have the risk of uh, what we can call as adverse selection. So risk of adverse selection uh, can come because of multiple reasons. Over here, two reasons have been mentioned, suboptimal return, moral hazard. So which of the two is risk of adverse selection for investors? In fact, uh, to be uh, precise and correct, uh, both are covered under uh, what is called as adverse selection. So adverse selection can arise for investors from suboptimal return as well as moral hazard. So that's the first or other question number one for you. Question number two, which of the following is close-ended fund under AIF regulations in India? So basically we have three broad categories of AIFs, category one, category two, and category three. Obviously there are other categories also, but for this particular question, I have only selected these three categories. Out of these three categories, uh, if you see, you know, uh, the category one and two, are basically under the close ended fund category. So we will have to select this particular option. Category three is an open ended fund. Let us move to question number three quickly. Large ticket size investors and accredited investors have been given the right of representation on investment management committee of alternative investment funds in order to monitor investment opportunities and underlying risks. So, you know, uh, if you are a large ticket size investor or if you are an accredited investor, you can be part of the investment committee just to take care of uh, uh, various risks that may arise. So monitoring is possible. Uh, of course, you risk management will be done by the fund itself, but you will be able to monitor. So this statement uh, basically is true. So the answer here is true. Let us move to question number four, which of the following is not fund management related risks in AIF? So inability to find quality investment, that's definitely a risk. Concentration risks arising from uh, sectoral exposures to particular type of business, that is also a fund management risk. Suboptimal structuring of uh, investment contracts with investing companies, well, that's also a risk. Change in regulations is a regulatory risk. It's not actually a fund management risk. So the answer for this particular question is D. Question number five, if the investment manager is not able to achieve first close within how many months? I mean, a, there has to be a timeline that has been set by SEBI. Uh, from the date of in, intimation, the AI will have to file a fresh application. So this timeline, uh, this is also part of the risk, by the way, is 12 months. So there would be a risk if it is not done within 12 months. So quiz 5 has been taken care of. Let us move to quiz 6. Risk associated with investment structure ad adopted by AIFs is called as what? Is it a funding risk? Is it a market risk? Is it an ESG risk? No. To be precise, this is nothing but a performance risk. So which option do we select? We will select this option which is performance risk. This takes us to question number 7. The information systems or facilities used by the fund may be susceptible to employee error or malfeasance, surveillance or other security threats. Uh, this uh, will expose AIF to which of the following risks? Well, any such risk which are related to human error, system related risk, all those fall under the category of 
operational risk. So operational risk is what will be the answer for this particular question, which is question number seven. seven. Just to repeat, uh, please do not uh, forget to note that people, process systems or external event related risks are part of what we call as operational risk. Question number eight, if the investment manager of an AIF is unable to raise sufficient capital for successful first close or final close, the existing investors may not wish to make further capital contribution to the fund due to lack of what? Is it liquidity? Is it trading? Or is it trust? Well, none of them. Actually, the answer is reputation. And this may give rise to what is called as reputational risk. This takes us to question number nine. I hope you are enjoying this particular uh, solution that I am providing along with the question and I hope it is adding value for you. Question number nine is how much leverage is allowed to category three IFs by SEBI? So leverage means, you know, how many times can you take position uh, which are backed by the assets that you own, right? So if you see, this is very conservative, only two times of NAV of the fund, neither three times nor five times nor 10 times. Okay, question number 10. Concentration risk is what type of a risk? Is it a market risk? Uh, is it a geopolitical risk? Is it ESG risk? Well, for from the a bank perspective, it can be a credit risk because concentration risk uh, may result into, the, uh, you know, uh, when there is a default, there could be credit risk. But from an alternative investment perspective, it is nothing but a performance risk. So these were the 10 questions that I wanted to take you through. I hope you have enjoyed this particular video. Uh, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel and do not forget to uh, recommend this to your friends also if you find value in this. Thank you so much for your time.